Hey, eighth graders, we're back for video number two. This one's going to be short and sweet, but a little bit more information to teach you about the high school. One more step closer to knowing everything you need to know in order to make good choices. So this video is about options and opportunities. So one option and opportunity that you can do in high school is dual enrollment. Dual enrollment is being a high school student and a college student at the same time. There's lots of different ways that you can do this. The first one listed there is Elegant Advantage. In 11th or 12th grade, if you wanted to ride the bus to the tech center, you would take courses through Lake Michigan College. You could do either you do AM session or PM session. ECAC I'm going to talk about more in depth in just a second, so I'm going to skip that one for now. At the high school, we have Davenport University teachers that come to us, 5th and 6th hour. For example, this semester we did a sociology class and a psychology class, and then 6th hour we did an, um, an English course. These courses you earn college credit, and you're able to use these credits when you go to college after high school. All of the tuition is free. The high school pays for it. There are some limitations, but for the most part, we cover all Davenport costs and all Lake Michigan College costs. If you're looking for other opportunities, you could possibly go off campus. You could drive yourself when you're ready to drive, maybe when you're a senior. You could drive to Grand Valley's Holland Campus, for example, or Hope College. Or online classes. You might find a class that you really want to take at Ferris State University, but it's online, so you have the course and you work on it in the library. So lots of different um, things to learn about dual enrollment, but that's the basics. Do you want to be a college student? Do you want the high school to pay your tuition and earn college credits for free? ECAC is dual enrollment and it stands for Early College Allegan County. This is a program that students in 10th grade apply for. And what it does is it gives you an associate degree for free. An associate degree is a two-year college degree. So basically that means that you can go to college for two years before you graduate high school and have all of that tuition paid by Fenville. With this program, students attend courses through Lake Michigan College. The courses are offered at the Tech Center. So in 11th or 12th grade, you go either in the AM or the PM. It's a three-year program, so that means that after you graduate in 12th grade, you're sticking around for one more year of this program. You're not in high school anymore, but you're attending all of your LMC courses. Again, this is all free. This means you get a two-year degree for free. AP, this is not dual enrollment, but it's similar in that it gives you college credit, possibly. AP stands for Advanced Placement. So an advanced course, we offer three of them going into next year, AP Literature, AP World History, and AP Chemistry. Advanced placement course is a type of course that is considered college prep. You take a final test in May. The scale is a one to five scale. And if you get a three, four, or a five, and then when you go to college in the fall after you graduate, that college may grant you credit for getting a high passing score. There is a little bit of cost that the school doesn't pay for, but considering that, say you take uh, AP Chemistry and do well, you could pay a heck of a lot more money in college than at most $94. So it's still a really good deal to get college credit. Virtual courses are courses that you take at the high school, but virtually. We have a lot of electives, but if you're looking for a particular elective that we don't offer, for example, journalism or archaeology, math or baseball, do you want to take a class that we don't offer? And maybe you just love Japanese, for example, and you want to learn something about that foreign language. All the courses, again, are at the high school, and the school pays this tuition for you as well. There is a website there if you're interested and want to see what kind of electives they have in their course catalog. You can check it out. It's www.mivu.org. Akatech is the tech center. So 
you could go there in 11th or 12th grade. They have 20 different programs. Some of them are college prep that prepare you to move on to college. And some of them are workforce ready, like welding, for example. Um, you'd either go in the AM or the PM and ride the tech bus over there. 10th graders will get the opportunity to go visit and check out the different programs. And then you get to go in 11th or 12th grade. This is the list of all of the tech center programs that they have. There's about 20, um, lots of different opportunities. You can check those out. Edgenuity Credit Recovery is a program we have to recover credit if you failed a course. This can be after school, summer school, or during your day in 11th or 12th grade. So passing your classes is really important. Most seniors, if they had to give you advice now, would be don't go down this road. Nobody wants to be working on say 10 Edgenuity courses during their senior year on top of their normal schedule. Testing out. Testing out is an opportunity for students to take the final exam in any class that they're not currently enrolled in. If they earn a credit, excuse me, let me say that again. If they pass the class to test out with a 77% or higher, they earn credit in the class. So for example, eighth graders have an opportunity to sign up for a test out session in Spanish 1A. Almost all ninth graders go right into Spanish 1A and then 1B their ninth grade year. But you might be thinking, I already speak Spanish. I read Spanish. I'm fluent. I really don't want to take Spanish. So here's an option for you. Test out. So usually we have a test out session in May, August, and December. That'll definitely look a little different this year. And I can't tell you exactly what that'll look like, but it'll be something. So if you want to test out, you would take the final exam in the class. If you can get a 77% or higher, you earn the credit. You get it marked off your credit audit sheet and you don't have to take it. Students sign up in advance and they can get a study guide and that's how it goes. Next, I just want to touch on some of these opportunities fairly quickly. We were going to come and spend a day with you in eighth grade and do Zello. Zello is an online career interest exploration program. If you are interested in learning about jobs and careers and what it takes to go to college for different careers, there's so much information you can dive into. This is available to you through your power school. So if you log into your power school and at the very top right corner, there's a box with an arrow. If you click there, you can log into your Zello and check out a lot of different options that um, teach you all about college careers, um, job information. Check that out. College and career advising. So leading off of that Zello topic, we have um, a staff member and her sole job is just to guide you on college and career stuff, everything you could think of. We share her with Sagatuck, so she comes to us Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. And the whole part of her job is just to talk about applying to college, financial aid, scholarships, resume building, apprenticeships. Like for example, I want to be um, a painter. How do I become a painter? Or I want to be an engineer. And we're going to walk through those steps. So there's some great resources in the high school to help you plan your future. Tutoring and study tables five days a week. There's something available after school should you need it. Study tables is just having a workspace in the library. Maybe if you're working on a project or you just need computer and internet time. Two days a week, there's a teacher available for specific tutoring. The Agenuity Lab is open Monday through Friday, and there's a bus two days a week. Seal of Biliteracy is a cool new program that offers you a seal on your diploma that states that you successfully passed the state test of biliteracy, which means you're fluent in two languages. So again, back to that test out thought, I already speak read, I'm fluent in Spanish. Do you want that listed on your diploma so that any employer can see that you are biliterate? Awesome thing to have and to show. It's a great employment resume builder for sure. 
clubs and organizations, all the things that are available that you can take advantage of in high school. For example, Dungeons and Dragons. Is that your jam? Maybe you're interested. Or the Be Nice program. You can be on that committee or Quiz Bowl. Um, the principal, Mrs. Eckhart, is super into students creating their own clubs. For example, the movie club in Dungeons and Dragons was created by a student last year that just wanted to put a group of students together. They fill out a form, she approves it, and then they start their own club. So you could do that too. All of the athletics that are available in high school, what are you interested in? We always say get involved, do something. Switching gears, I want to talk about elective course options. So not only sports and clubs and different opportunities that you can get involved in, but just the the basics of what courses can I pick? Let's talk about that. In the English department, you can do contemporary fiction, which is contemporary genre books. Pretty much you read about them and talk about them. Creative writing is all about poetry and a lot of other create creative expressions. In AP literature, that is one of those advanced placement courses. Social studies, you can learn history through media, which is TV, uh, different, let's see, movies or things online, just different ways to learn about big historical events through media. World War II, everything you ever wanted to know about World War II. Psychology, it's the study of the individual and their brain. Abnormal psychology is the study of abnormal um, personality, behavioral personality things like uh, schizophrenia and bipolar and different things like that. And AP World History, again, that's another advanced placement course. In math, pre-calculus, statistics, personal finance, and practical math. Those range of harder to less hard. Practical math is every day how to use math in the real world. Real world. Personal finance, adulting math. And statistics and pre-calculus are more college ready. And if you know you're going to a four-year university, you might be looking there. In science, we have forensics, A and B, which is like crime scene, CSI, fingerprinting. Hands-on discovery is more of like um, hands-on labs in science. They do some robotics and various things like that. AP chemistry is another advanced placement course. Anatomy, the study of human body, and physics, another advanced um, college-ready course. In the art department, you're looking at drawing, painting, drawing two, ceramics, which is like pottery and clay, 3D design, they create objects, so not just drawing on paper, but actually creating something physical. Advanced art, drama is new this year. Fantastics is our regular choir, and then Chamber is our advanced choir, and then Marching Band and Concert Band and Color Guard. In PE, we have regular traditional PE, team sports, which is PE, but more centered on um, like basketball, volleyball, things that you are in a team with, and Strength and Conditioning PE. That is PE, but a focus on uh, weightlifting in our new weight room. And then I skipped over health. That is a graduation requirement. Um, it's in the PE department, but that is health class. World languages, we have Spanish 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, and then 3A, 3B. Students need to have four credits in a foreign language in order to graduate. These are the three classes that we offer with a teacher. You could definitely do other foreign languages if you're interested. I mentioned earlier about virtual courses, maybe learning Japanese or Chinese or French or German. That's something you can look into. That's it. That's all I wanted to tell you about in this video, options and opportunities. I will have a survey at the end of this video as well. One simple question. Tell me what questions you have so far. And again, I'm going to use your questions to create the final video. So what, what are you thinking about? I know there's a lot of things I haven't talked about yet, but you can ask simple questions like about lockers or lunch or 
how many minutes you have in between classes. Just simple things. Tell me what's on your mind. All right. See you for video number three. Bye.